Hello and welcome to the Zoll Zvent in-service demonstration. This multiple part series will provide detailed information about the Zvent portable critical care ventilator and its functionality. In this module, we will review the Zvent's alerts and alarms. To safeguard the patient, the Zvent continuously monitors the patient, device, and environment to ensure that all systems are functioning properly. If the device detects a problem, it triggers an alarm and displays an on-screen message. Smart Help, a feature unique to Zoll ventilators, is a multi-line set of directions for every alarm that guides the user in resolving the alarm event. During an alarm event, there are several key areas of the display to focus on. At the top left is the message area. During an alarm event, the waveform window is replaced with the on-screen Smart Help alarm instructions. The alarm name describes the type or cause of the alarm. In this case, we have an airway pressure high alarm. If multiple alarms trigger simultaneously, the device automatically prioritizes which alarm to display on screen based on which alarm poses the highest risk to the patient. Below the alarm name are the smart help instructions that guide the user in resolving the alarm. The first bullet describes what specific action triggered the alarm. In this case, the pressure in the circuit exceeded the high limit setting and triggered the alarm event. In the corresponding parameter window of an alarm, the values that triggered the alarm will flash. In this case, the peak inspiratory pressure or PIP window, the high limit alarm number, and current PIP value are flashing. Continue to follow the on-screen smart help prompts to resolve the alarm. At the end of every smart help set of instructions is a bullet that begins and ends with two asterisks. This is the fail-safe instruction of what action to perform in the event the user is unable to resolve the alarm. Directly below the smart help message area is the icon tray, which displays key icons and notifications. In the small row at the top of the icon tray, an alarm bell will appear, indicating an active alarm. The number of bells corresponds to the number of currently active alarms. A solid bell indicates the current alarm that is displayed on screen, and an outlined bell indicates additional alarms that are active but not currently displayed. On the right side of that same row is the alarm service code. Each alarm has an associated four-digit code that helps the user identify the specific alarm. Each code begins with the number 1, 2, or 3, designating the severity of the alarm. 1. High Priority Alarm 2. Medium Priority Alarm 3. Low Priority Alarm In the main area of the icon tray, an alarm will trigger the Attention Warning icon. This icon accompanies the service code in identifying the severity of the alarm. A blank triangle represents a low priority alarm, a triangle with a single exclamation point represents a medium priority alarm, and a triangle with two exclamation points represents a high priority alarm. During an active alarm, a speaker icon will appear in the icon tray, accompanied by an audible beeping sound. The user may mute the alarm for 30 seconds by pressing the cancel button. When muted, the speaker icon changes to one with a strike through and a countdown timer appears underneath. This timer indicates the time remaining until the alarm resumes its audible alert. When the Z-Vent is initially powered on, the ventilator mutes all audible alarms for two minutes. This provides a quiet period for the user to perform any necessary configurations. In addition to the on-screen alarm priority indicators, the LED array at the top of the device changes colors corresponding to the current alarm priority level. A yellow light indicates a low priority alarm, and a red light indicates medium and high priority alarms. The LED array will return to green once the alarm is resolved. During a medium priority alarm, mechanical ventilation is active, maybe for a finite period, but there is a failure or fault with the patient or ventilator that requires immediate user attention. The LED array will either illuminate solid red or slowly flash, accompanied by a slow audible tone. The user can mute medium priority alarms for 30 seconds by pressing the mute cancel button. If the alarm trigger is still present after 30 seconds, the audible alarm recurs until muted. 
During a high-priority alarm, mechanical ventilation is no longer possible. This alarm requires immediate user intervention. The user should begin manual ventilation of the patient and follow on-screen prompts to resolve the alarm. If no solution exists, the user must restart the ventilator to resolve the alarm. The LED array will rapidly flash red accompanied by a fast audible tone. High priority alarms cannot be muted and pressing the mute cancel button has no effect. We have now completely reviewed the ventilator alerts and alarms. Throughout the other modules, we will continue to explore the device's functionality and how to prepare the ventilator for use.